in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to our service on this, the Wednesday of Holy Week. I hope that you are okay today. It's good to have you with us, and I know that we're joined by people from as far as Scotland and all over Cornwall. It's good to have you with us as we journey together through Holy Week. So now we say sorry to God. God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let us then show our love for him by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So let us pray. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue, that I may know how to reply to the weary. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen to the disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance. Neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me my cheeks to those who tore at my head. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I may be untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help, who dare condemn me. This is the word of the Lord. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. Hail to you, our King. Obedient to the Father, you are led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the Word of God. Hear the reading of our Holy Gospel according to St Matthew. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he looked for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Now, on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus to say, Where do you want to, us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Go to so-and-so in the city, he replied, and say to him, The master says, My time is near. It is your house that I am keeping Passover with my disciples. The disciples did what Jesus told them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, he was at the table with the twelve disciples, and while they were eating, he said, 
I tell you solemnly, one of you is to betray me. They were greatly distressed and started asking him in turn, Not I, Lord, surely. He answered, Someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going to his fate, as the scriptures say he will. But alas, for that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for that man if he had never been born. Judas was to betray him, asked in turn, Not I, Rabbi, surely. They are your own words, answered Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't know if you're getting out each day for your daily bit of exercise. I certainly am. And I'm surprised and delighted to see other people as they walk the dogs, walk the children, ride their bikes or run. The race of life needs both physical but also spiritual stamina. St Paul sometimes used sporting metaphors in his letters of encouragement to the churches. He wouldn't necessarily just be thinking of the Greeks' preoccupation with fitness and sport, but also the considerable time in his earthly ministry that Jesus had spent in restoring the sick, the infirm, and the dead to life and health. Our bodies aren't just designed for art and design, but to be put to good use for service. There are times when the sheer effort on keeping our eyes on God sometimes seems too much. It is difficult. It's not always easy. Once we get our eyes off that track and we focus on the finishing post, on God himself, it is able to move in our trouble to attend it, but not always in the way that we are looking for. Life is a journey. Our Christian faith is a journey of life. As we run our race of life, we don't do it alone, for we run in tandem with Christ, the pioneer who sets off with us. He's the perfect person who also finishes with us. It is a twin relay in which he is always just ahead. He is leading the way. We are to keep our eyes focused on him. Very much like some athletes use a runner. But God paces us. And as we journey at this time, the pace of life around us is slower. I don't think ever in our lives will we keep such a slow, peaceful and meditative Holy Week. But be assured, God never sends us anything more than we can cope with. All we need to do is focus on him and give credit to God where credit is due. God bless you as you run your journey of life, particularly of this Holy Week, in tandem with Christ. Amen. And so now we pray. The response to Lord in your mercy is hear our prayer. Loving Father, 
who assures us that where we are gathered in your name, we are gathered together, spread apart. But we bring before you our prayers. We pray for the Christian church, for our own worshipping communities, for the people that we would normally worship Holy Week together with. But Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to worship with you and journey together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for this world, for this world in turmoil due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We ask you to bless all the workers who are keeping things going at this time. For those in our hospitals, our doctors, the carers, the shop workers, the lorry drivers, those who are caring in schools for key workers, for those who are working with the bereaved in the funeral industry. For those who are volunteering to help in their community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, as we journey through Holy Week together, we ask you to watch over all those who have faith. Strengthen that faith at this time, a time where faith is needed more than any other time. As we look towards the sacrifice that your son made on our behalf. And then his resurrection again as he rose to sat to the salvation of the world. Let us remind ourselves that we are on a journey together with Jesus. May we keep our eyes focused on him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are ill. Particularly, we pray for Brian, for Elsie, for Tracy, for Abby, for Ron, for Des, for Marcia, for John, for Paul. And Lord, in a moment of silence, we bring before you those who we carry on our hearts at this time. Lord, bring your healing presence to be with all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who have died. For those whose families are unable to attend them at their time of death. For those who are unable to visit. For those who are unable to attend funerals of loved ones. Today we pray for the soul of Greg. For his family. For those three people. His two daughters and granddaughter who will attend his funeral for those members of his family who are unable to make the journey or to attend the funeral. Lord, we ask you to comfort all those, all those who 
mourn at this time. We ask you to comfort them and be near to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring our prayers before you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now we sing our hymn. Lord, accept the gifts we present as we celebrate this mystery of the suffering and death of your Son. May we share in the eternal life he won for us, for he is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times, in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because for our salvation he was obedient even to death on the cross. The tree of shame was made the tree of glory, and where life was lost, there life has been restored. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Great and wonderful Father, we remember when Jesus had supper with his friends the night before he died. He took bread, he thanked you, broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends and said, All of you drink from this cup because this is my blood, the new promise of God's love. Do this every time you drink it to remember me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. So, loving Father, remembering how dearly Jesus loves him, loves us, we should love him too. Send your Holy Spirit, gentle as a dove, on us and on these gifts, through everyone who eats and drinks this bread and wine, the body and blood of Jesus. We may be full of your life and goodness. Help us to walk hand in hand with Jesus and live our lives for him. All honour and glory belong to you, Father. Through Jesus, your Son, with the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ, though we are many. We are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Body of Christ. Blood of Christ. So let us pray. All powerful God, the Eucharist proclaims the death of your Son. Increase our faith in its saving power and strengthen our hope in the life it promises. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. As our service now draws to a close, thank you for joining me this morning. Um, I hope the candles I've used today haven't felt too prison bar-like. Uh, I will have the other ones. These are the ones I usually take when I go in to take a service in a care home. They Rather, I didn't use uh, lit candles, and often space is tight, so these work really well. Uh, I'd run out of little candles this morning, so uh, they come to an end yesterday, and I didn't pick any up but I shall get them again for tomorrow. I hope you stay safe today, and I look forward to welcoming you again tomorrow as we journey together through lengths. So Christ crucified draw you to himself to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Strengthen us in peace to love and serve the Lord.